dear students in this class we are going to see sar of lincomycin already we have known the structure of lincomycin it is having two parts one is pyrrolidin moiety another one is pyrrolose moiety so this is called as pyrrolidin so this part is called pyrrolidin moiety and this is called as pyrrolose moiety what is the name of pyrrolidin moiety that is 4 propyl hygric acid and what is the name for pyrrolose moiety that is methyl thiolincosamine so these two parts are united to form an amide linkage and that will be the structure for lincomycin. Now in the case of this pyrrolidin it is having methyl that methyl is attached with the nitrogen. So if the methyl is removed that is N demethylation means that is imparting activity against gram negative bacteria. So if you remove the methyl group from the nitrogen what happens it gives activity against gram negative bacteria. Here in this hygric acid it is having propyl in fourth position. So if you are increasing the chain length of propyl substituent at C4 in pyrrolidin up to N hexyl. So here it is having only 3 carbons. Hexyl means it would be increased to 6 carbons means the activity would be increased. That is in vivo activity would be increased. And here in the case of methyl thiolincosamine we are having thio methyl ether. So this thio methyl ether of thiolincosum and moitino that is essential for activity and this would be the seventh position. So structural modifications at C7 position means the physicochemical properties of the drug would be changed. What is the important physicochemical property that would be changed? That is partition coefficient. Example for that is introduction of 7S chloro or 7R methoxy group. What is the example for 7S chloro that is called as clindamycin and that alters the activity spectrum and also the pharmacokinetic properties. So that is all about the SAR of lincomycin. Now we will see the side effects. Skin rashes, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea are the side effects of lincomycin.